ناو سورہ سات بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم سود ول قرآن ذکر سود دس از دی فرسٹ سورہ وچ از اسٹارٹنگ وتھ ون لیٹر دیر ہیو بین لیٹر علیف لام میم علیف لام را علیف لام میم را علیف لام میم سود اینڈ سو آن اینڈ سو فورتھ کاف ہا یا این سود بٹ دیر آر تھری سورا دف قرآن وی اسٹارٹ وتھ اونلی ون لیٹر دی فرسٹ ون از دس سود دین ول کم سورا کاف دین ول بی سورا نون سود ول قرآن از از ذکر by the quran which is full of admonition and reminding now what is jawab e qasam maksub sab ale that is understood we have to guess according to surah yasin wal quran is zikr inna kana min al mursalin this quran which has the admonition and the reminding for the humanity this is the proof clear proof of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam that you are the messenger of allah بل الذين كفروا في عزه وشقاق بل دوز هو ديس بيليف ار ان فالس برايد اند دي ار توتالي اوبوز تو ات كما هلكنا من قبله من قرن اند بيفور ذم هاو ماني ا جينيريشن وي ديسترويد فور نادو ذن دي كراي تو ايتش اذر ولا تحين من اس بت ذا تايم اوف اسكيپ هاد باست ناو ذير واز نو اسكيپ فروم ذا تشاستايزمنت اوف الله سبحانه وتعالى Why they want Jahu Munzuru Minu? And they are wondering that to, that to come, them has come a warner from among themselves, a human being, a person from their own nation. Wakal kafirun hada sahirun kazab, and the disbelievers are saying that he is a sorcerer and a liar, kazab. Ajal al alihat, ajal al alihat, ilham wahida. Has he merged all the gods into one god? We had a god. We want to be new, a big god, the biggest god. But along with that big god, there was so many other gods and goddesses. But now it is very strange thing that he is saying, "Ajal al alihat ilaha wahida." He has merged all the gods into one god. In the Hada al Shayyun Ujab, this is something very astounding, very astonishing. When Talaq al Malaum in whom, and the chiefs from among them, they just left, departed. Leave him, leave Muhammad. What he is saying, we can't even listen to it. When Talaq al Malaum in whom, an imshu, an imshu was miru ala alihatikum, and they said to their common people also, go, go, go from here. Don't listen what he is saying, and persevere about your gods. Cling to them. Don't listen to him. He's falsifying them. He's saying they are false gods. No, you cling to them and persevere in it. Was beru ala alihatikum in haza shayun la shayun yurad. Definitely, what is Muhammad saying today, sallallahu alaihi wasallam? He has some personal motives behind it. He wants to become your chief. He wants to attain authority. Something yurad. He aims at something when he is saying this. ما سمعنا بهذا في الملة الأخيرة. We have never heard about these things in the previous ummats, in the previous faiths. In هذا اللقط الأخ. This is nothing but an invention. أون جل على ذكر من بيننا. Has the admonition and the reminding been sent to him, giving us? We are the chieftains. We have more wealth. We have more strength. If Allah had to send something, some revelation, He could have chosen one of us, one of the chieftains. Aunzala alayhi zikru min bayrina, bal hum fi shakim min zikri. But they are in doubt about my zikr, about my remembrance. Bal lamma yazuku azab. Actually, the reason is that they have not up till now tasted our chastisement. When they will taste our chastisement, then they will know everything. ام اندهم خزائن و رحمت ربی کے لعظیر الوحاب دو دے اون دی تریئرز آف دی مرسی آف یور لارڈ ہو از العزیز مائٹی اینڈ وحاب بستور یو نو دیس نبوہ اور رسالہ از ای مرسی ناو اللہ سبحانہ وتعالی 
gives his mercy to whomsoever he likes. He has selected Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. It is his choice. Now they are saying he should have selected somebody else, some Walid bin Mughira, or some or other you know big person, very wealthy and a, a chief among the uh, Quraysh. Am lahu mulku samawat wal ard. Do they have the sovereignty of the of the heavens and the earth? Wama baina huma and whatever is in between them. Fanya takul asbab fil asbab. So if they let them climb up the heaven by any means. Jundun ma hunale ka mahzum min al asbab. They are another routed host of the confederates that were there. Before them also there were so many people, so many nations. They were destroyed. This is again a group which will have that final destruction. Kazabat kablahum kabunuhin. Before them, the people of Nuh, they belied. Waadun and the nation of Ad. Wa Firaun udul autad. And in the same way, Firaun. The, the one who had the tent pegs is such a big army that for the tents, you know, there were pegs to, to erect the tents. And these pegs were so many in number, that so many horses or mules were laden with the pegs only. Zul Autad. Was Samud. And in the same way, the nation of Samud. Was Qawmulut. And the people of Lut. Was Habulaika. And the people of the thicket. People of the jungle. Ulaik al Ahzab, they were the Ahzab, they were the groups, they were the parties, they were the hosts, they were destroyed before them. In Kullunilla Kazabar Rusul, all of them, they belied their messengers, Faqa Iqab, and they then became deserving of the punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Vamayandruha Ulai la sahatul wahidatan, Malaha min fawaq. And these people are not waiting for anything else but a shout, sehatan wahida, a very loud shout, in which there will be no pause, continuous, loud shout, continuous, that will be the cause of their death. وَمَا يَنْدُرُوا هَاو لَا إِلَّا سَحَةٌ وَاحِدَةٌ مَا لَهَا مِنْ فَوَاقٌ وَقَالُوا رَبَّنَا عَجِّلْ لَنَا قِتَّنَا قَبْلَ يَوْمِ الْحِسَابٌ And they are saying, O Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, O Lord, Give us our portion, whatever you have to give us, good or bad, punishment or reward. Give us before the day of the reckoning. We want it early. You make the decision now. We don't want to wait till the death and until the resurrection, until the end of the or the, the day of judgment. Ismirallama Yaqulun, O Muhammad, you have patience on what they are saying. Waskur Abdana Dawood was al Ad. And now you mention here our servant Dawood, alayhi salatu wa salam, Zal'aid, who was the possessor of strength in Nahu Awab, and he always turned to us in prayer. Inna sakharna al-jibala ma'ahu, yusabbihna bil-ashiyya wal-ishraq. We have subjected the mountains with him, because they used to glorify us with him at nightfall and sunrise. When Hazrat Dawood, alayhi salam, he read the Psalms, you know. The book Zabur is actually a collection of the Psalms. So, and he, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, had given him a very beautiful, very you know, voice which has a melody in it. So then, you know, the mountains also and the birds also joined with him. Inna sakhran al ma'ahu. We have subjected the mountains with him, glorifying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the evenings and also in the sunrise, on the sunrise. What Taira Bahashura, and in the same way, the birds which were gathered duly, all were turning towards Allah, turning to Him. Washadana Mulkahu, and we have strengthened and fortified His kingdom. Wa'atainahul Hikmata wa Faslal Khitab, and we had give, given to Him the wisdom and decisive sayings and speech. He could decide the matters very soon, understand the matter, decide it, and decide it very decisively. And has the news of two disputants come to you? It's the Samarul Mihrab. When they cl climbed over the wall of the sanctuary in the palace, you know, he had fixed a one place, sanctuary, where he used to pray. Now he was there alone. 
There was nobody except near. And on Euro Palace there must have been guards at the gates, but some two people, they climbed over the wall and came to him suddenly. Is the Khalu Allah Dawuda when they entered upon Dawood, for Fazi Amin whom he felt danger from them. He was frightened at them. Karulatakhab they said, they want to kill me perhaps, do some harm to me. How have they come? Defying all the guards of the palaces, they have reached here. So he was frightful. Qalu la takhaf. They said, you don't have fear. Khasmane baga baaduna ala baadun. We are two disputants. We have a dispute among us. One of us has oppressed the other. Faqum bainana bil haq. So now you decide between us with the truth. Wala tushtit. Don't postpone. Don't say come tomorrow. This is my private time, and I am praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why do you come and disturb me? We want the decision now and here. And guide us to the straight way, straight path. In the Hazakhi, now the one said, He is my brother. To him belongs 99 years. Ears, you know, the uh, sheeps, but a special type of sheep. Lahu tis'un wa tis'un najatan. He has 99 ewes. Waliya najatun wahida. And I have only one ewe. Fakalak filniha wa azdani fil khitab. Now he says, give me, hand me over that one also. And he has oppressed and overcome me in argument. He has overpowered me. He has 99. I have only one. And he says, hand that over also to me. Dawood said, well, he is doing wrong. While he is asking that you should hand over your own Eve also to him. And definitely, those people, you know, who are partners in this world, in business, etc., in families, they do wrong to each other. There's no, nothing new in it. People do wrong to each other. Except those who believe in Allah and who, good, who do good deeds. And such people are not very much, they are very few. And then suddenly it came to Dawood, it dawned on him. Actually, this was a trial for him. We had put him to a test through this. So he asked for the forgiveness from his Lord. And he fell down. First in Ruku, and you know, then in Sajda. And he turned to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now I shall explain it later. This is Ayat of Sajda. So perform Sajda. فَغَفَرْنَا لَهُ So we forgave him ذَالِكَ That That mistake or sin whatsoever we may call it we forgave it to him وَإِنَّ لَهُ عِنْدَنَا لَزُلْفَى وَحُسْنَ مَعَابِ And surely for him is an access to us and goodly resort Now actually this Surah to Saf has many incidents quoted here very briefly the details are neither in the Qur'an nor in the authentic ahadith. But only references are from the Israeli riwayat, the Israelite traditions. And the Israelis, people, this Yehud, they had the bad habit of assigning very bad things to their prophets. He did this and he did that and he did that. About Lut, maybe you might be knowing or not, that his two daughters committed adultery with him. And this is written in Torah. In the same way, there is the story that Dawud Islam had so many wives. He was a king. You know, haram of the kings on those days used to be full of wives. But there was one of his generals, Uriah. 
Uriya's wife was very beautiful. Someday, Daud happened to see her, and she and he liked to marry her. Then he asked Uriya that you should divorce your wife so that I can marry her. So this is the story. Rather, there you know in in Torah, <coughs> the story goes further that he refused. But then Dawood, alayhi salam, he sent Uriah on an expedition in which it was sure that he will be killed. So he was killed, and when now that woman became a widow, now he married her. So we don't know how much is the truth. But maybe something, some truth in it might have been because Quran is saying something. And we don't find any other explanation, you know. And this is the, the principle of tafsir and exegesis of Qur'an, that those things which are referred to in Qur'an briefly, if you have any details in the former books, scriptures, then we can take the, the things from there. Hadithu al Bani Israel wala haraj. This is the hadith of the Prophet You can take and accept the traditions from Bani Israel, and there is no haraj in it, nothing wrong in it. Anyhow, Allah best knows what was the incident. But one thing is sure, that something wrong was there in the heart of Hazrat Dawud alayhi salam. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took this method of warning him, so that he becomes conscious of his ill intention or whatever he was going to do. And this is the way how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saves the prophets from doing something wrong. Not that they, they have no intentions. We have the tradition that Prophet said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that when I was young, twice it happened that I decided to go to those, you know, melas, where there was singing also and dancing also and, you know, stories were being told. But what happened? I started from my home. In the way, somewhere I sat for some rest, I slept. Kept sleeping whole night. In the morning I wake up and the time was gone. So Allah saved me. Again, once more, the same happened. So Allah saves, you know. And this is the Isma, Masum. The prophets are Masum. They are saved. They are protected. Not that no idea of a bad thing can come to their mind. No, no. They are human beings. There can be. Ideas can come. We have read in Surah Al-Hajj. Wama bin Nabiyin. But whenever he, whosoever of Nabi and Messenger we have been sending, when they had some plannings of their own, is that tamanna alka shaitan of umniyatihi. When they were planning themselves, what was coming from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it was absolutely protected. There couldn't be anything wrong in it from the shayateen. But when he was himself planning, there could be some mistake. But then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keeps him safe. And he is... At a proper time, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala lets him know that you are going towards the wrong direction. So this is what happened here. So Dawood came to know that he was, he had some wrong thing in his mind. So he, he re repented and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepted his repentance. Ya Dawood, inna jalna ka khalifatan fil nard. O Dawood, we have made you the vice student on earth. فَحْكُمْ بَيْنَ النَّاسِ بِالْحَقِّ So you should judge between people with truth and justice. وَلَا تَطَّبِي الْحَوَىٰ Don't follow your lusts. Don't follow your desires. فَيُضِلَّ كَانْ سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ They will definitely lead you, lead you astray from the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. إِنَّ الَّذِينَ يَضِلُّونَ عَنْ سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ Verily those who go astray from the path of Allah, لَهُمْ عَذَابٌ شَرِيْد For them, is a very strong, severe chastisement. Because they just forgot that the time is to come when I'll have to account for it. And we have not created the heavens, heaven and the earth and whatever is between them without any purpose. This is the thought of those who disbelieve. So, woe to those people who disbelieve from the fire. Will we hold those people who come to believe and they do good deeds 
एज दोज हु आर दी मिस्टीफ मॉन्गर्स इन दी अर्थ दे मस्ट बी रिपेड अकॉर्डिंगली हु सो एवर इज डूइंग गुड डीज ही मस्ट बी रिवार्डेड गुड रिवार्ड एंड हु सो एवर हैज बीन ए मिस्टिक मिस्टीफ मॉन्गर ही शुड बी पनिश्ड अब न जानुल मुत्तकीन कल फुजार और इज इट पॉसिबल दैट वी कैन मेक इक्वल दोज हु फियर डस एंड दोज हु आर मिसक्रियंट्स द आंसर इज नो इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल किताब उन अंजुल्लाह का मुबारक उन दब्बर हुआ आते ही दिस कुरान इज ए बुक दैट वी हैव सेंट डाउन टू दी ओ मोहम्मद सल्लाह वसलम एंड दिस इज मुबारक ब्लेसिड लैद दब्बर हुआ आते ही सो दैट दे शुड पॉन्डर ओवर इट्स रेवोल्यूशन पॉन्डर ओवर डाइव डीप इन टू द मीनिंग्स ऑफ दिस द रेवोल्यूशन ऑफ कुरान वबा यज्जत करो वरी यज्जत करा वरी यज्जत करा उन अलबाब एंड सो दैट The people who have an understanding, they get admonished and reminded. We have not only Dawood and Sulaiman, and we blessed Dawood with Sulaiman. We gave him as a son. Name Alab. What an excellent servant he was. In the who Awab, he also kept turning to us for in prayers. Is Orida alayhi bil ashi is safnat liyad. When there were presented to him in the evening. Standing steeds, swift-footed. Here are armies. So armies, there were steeds also, horses of good pedigree, and he was investing. Uh, he was inspecting them. Fakala, but he kept busy long, so that the salatul asr, you know, it this time passed. Fakala, inni ahabat to hubal khair ya ansikre rabbi. Then he repented. I love this. This wealth of this world, these horses are the wealth of this world. I loved them so much that they became a bar, and they and they prevented me from the salatul asr, from the zikr of my Lord, from the remembrance of my Lord. Hatta tawarat bil hijab until the sun got hidden in the curtains. It was set. The time of maghrib has come. Now, in that condition, he was so much sad, so much grieved that, in you know, a special condition, he said, "Bring back these horses to me." Rudduha, fatafika masfan misuk walanab, and then he started striking and smiting them in their necks and in their legs. So he was cutting them. وَلَقَدْ فَتَنَّا سُلَيْمَانَ وَالْقَيْنَا عَلَى كُسْيِهِ جَسَدًا سُمَّا نَابٍ Another event of Hazrat Sulaiman's life, and we certainly tried Sulaiman, and we cast upon his throne a mere body. Now this also needs a very long description. I can't, can't go into that details. I told you these are some incidents of the lives of Sulaiman Dawood. Details are not here in Quran. Only references, flying references. So for this. If somebody wishes, he should either consult the former scriptures or the ahadis or the tafasir. Kala, now there is a prayer of Sulaiman alayhi salam. Kala, Rabbi firli, oh my Lord, forgive me. Wa habli mulkan la yam bagi le ahadim min badi, and bestow on me a kingdom such as may not suit to any one after me. You bless me with a kingdom. With which you will not bless anybody else till the end. Now the kingdom of Suleiman was not very great, but you know he had power over wind, he had powers over jinns, he had power over the animals, birds. So all these things, none else in the whole human history is like Suleiman alayhi salatu wasalam. Neither before him nor after him. And that is the du'a. Now, be firmly, wa habli mulkan. Give me a kingdom, la yam bagi le ahadim min badi, which nobody after me can can have. Inna kan tal wahab. Verily, you are the giver, the bestower. Fasakhar na lahuri. So Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, then we subjected to him the wind. Tajri me amrehi. According to his his command, it blew. Khan hai swasab. Very softly and gently, wherever he had directed, the wind to now blow towards east. 
or now blow towards west. And his ships were moving in the seas. And you know, always, according to his command, the winds was blowing so that they were taking the ships of Suleiman in the required direction. And this is again, no other king has been given this authority. Suleiman, alayhi salam, to him we made the jinnat, sub, they were subjected to him. And they were for him the builders, banna, wagawas, and divers in the oceans. Wa'akharina muqarrarina fil asfad. And there were others also who were chained in the fetters. Khaza atawna, we said to uh, Suleiman, this is our bestowing upon you. From nun o amsik. Now you can share others also in it. Share all these blessings with people. Or if you like, you can keep it with you. Begher hisab. We shall not have any reckoning over this. Wa'inna lahu indana la zulfa wa husna ma'ab. And definitely for him is with us a very goodly resort and a very near position. Waskur Abdana Ayyub. And mention here our servant Ayyub, Job, alayhi salatu was salam, is Nada Rabbahu, when he called upon his Lord, Rabbi inni masani shaitanu bin usbin wa azab, O my Lord, surely Satan has touched me with toil and chastisement. Urkuz mirijil leka. The Allah sent the revelation. Stamp with your foot on the earth. Haza muqtasalun. Now when he stamped on the earth, there you know gushed a spring from the earth. And Allah said, now this is for washing and, and cold drink also. Wawahabna lahu ahlahu. And we gave back, back to him his family, wa mislahu mahahu. And another more family people like them. Rahmatam minna, it was all mercy from our side. Wa zikra, and a reminding, leulil albab, for those who understand. Wa khud bi yadika zikzan. And now you hold in your hand a bundle of twigs. Fadlib bihi, and strike with it. Wa la tahanas, and don't break your oath. He had said in some, you know, time of anger, I will strike you to her wife, to his wife, he has said, hundred stripes. Now, he was sorry, I had said this, how to do it, hundred stripes to this woman, <laughs> she might be killed. So Allah said, okay, you take a bundle of twigs, hundred twigs in your hands and strike once. So this will be the fulfillment of your, your oath. We had found him a very persevering person. Name al -abd. He was a very fine servant of ours. In the Huawab, and he was also always turning towards us. Waskur Abdan Ibadana Ibrahim Awa Isaac Awa Yaqub. And mention here also our servants Ibrahim, Isaac, and Yaqub. Ulil Adi wa Nabsar. They were all people who had might and vision. Inna Akhlasnahum bi Khalisatin Zikraddar. We have chosen them with a most pure purpose, and that is the remembrance of the final abode. And surely they are with us of the chosen, the excellent people. Baskur Ismail Abul Yasa Abul Zulkifri, and mentioned also Ismail and Yasa and Zulkifri. All of them were from our excellent bondsmen. Haza zikr. This is a reminding or admonition. Wa'inna lil muttaqina husna ma'ab. And definitely for those who fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, there is going to be a goodly resort. And what is that? jannat e adnin These will be the gardens of perpetuity. Mufattahat allahumul awwab. And their doors are open, ready to welcome the people whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends there. Muttaqina fiha. They will be sitting there, reclining, and they will be calling for, ordering for, their much of fruit, and drinks. And with them there will be maidens of restraining glances and of equal age. This is what you are being promised for the day of reckoning, for the day of judgment. 
in the haza la riskuna ma lahu min nafad and this is our provision it is not going to be finished at any time haza wa inna li taghila la sharra ma this is for those people who are sent to the hell to, to, to the heaven to the paradise but for those people who were transgressors taghin la sharra ma for them there is going to be an evil resort jahannam that is jahannam yaslawnaha they will enter it fabis al mihad and that is a very bad resting place hada fal yazuqu hamimun wa ghassaq this is for you now they should taste this boiling water and pus from the wounds wa akhiru min shaqlihi azwaj and punishments like these of various kinds hada fawjun muqtahimun ma'akum now people in the already in the hell they will say oh another group is coming hada fawjun muqtahimun ma'akum they are coming towards you rushing towards you la marhaban bihim no welcome for them innahum salun nar they are going to do to enter the fire qalu bal antum now the new comers will say to those who are already there in the hell la marhaban bihum no welcome for you antum qaddamtumuhu lana you are our elders you are the former generation you have brought all this to us you were on the wrong path and we followed you fabis al qarar and this is a very bad resting place qalu rabbana man qaddama lana hadha and they will say oh our lord whosoever has brought these things to us fazidhu azaban zaifan fil nar for them you should increase the chastisement in the and double it in the in the uh, in the fire wa qalu ma kunna la nara rijalan kunna na'udhu min al-ashrat and they will say what has, has happened we are not seeing amongst us those people whom we were thinking that they are among the most vicious people ittaqastahum ittaqaznahum sikhriyan we used to laugh at them mock at them am zaghat anhum al-absar what has happened our eyes you know they have been uh, turned from them in nazalika la haqqun taqasumul ahli an-nar now this disputing between themselves between the people who were be, who will be in the hell is true it is going to take place qul inna ma anta inna ma ana munzir say o muhammad i am only a warner wa ma bin ilahi illa allah al wahid al qahar there's no god except the one who is omnipotent alone rabb samawati wal ard he is the lord of the heavens and the earth wa ma bainahuma and whatsoever is in between them al aziz ul ghaffar he is all powerful he has the total authority but he is also forgiving qul huwa nawmun azim say this is going to be a very big news antum anu murdun and you are turning away from that what are the news that you will be resurrected and you know you will be brought to the book and then maybe some of you are sent to the heaven and the rest are sent to the hell so this is nabaun azim this is a very big news antum anhum muridun you are turning from it ma kana li min ilmin bil malai al ala iz yaqtasimun i don't have any knowledge of the highest exalted assembly of the malaikat al muqarrabun when they were dissenting about the wise students of adam in yuha ilayya illa anna ma ana nadhiru mubin only it is being revealed to me sent by revelation that i am nothing but a warner clear warner wa is qala rabbuka lil malaika and just recall when your lord said to the angels in the khaliqun basharam min teen i am going to make a a person a human being create a mortal from clay now this story of adam and iblis here it is coming for the final and seventh time in the quran it is there in surah al-baqarah section 4 surah al-araf section 2 then it was in surah al-hijr then surah bani israil surah kahf then surah taha and now finally this is the seventh this is surah saad Yes, and when your Lord said to the angels, "I am going to create a mortal from clay," faida savaytuhu. So when I have shaved him, shaped him, wa nafaktu fi abir ruhi, and have blown into him from my own spirit, fataulahu sajadin. So at that time, you will have to 
fall before him in prostration. فَسَدَ الْمَلَائِكَةُ كُلُّ وَجْمَعُونَ So all the angels fell prostrate all together. إِلَّا إِبْلِيس Except Iblis. But he was not an angel. He was a jinn. إِسْتَقْبَرَ He showed arrogance. وَكَانَ مِنَ الْكَافِرِينَ And he became one of the disbelievers. قَالَ يَا إِبْلِيسُ مَا مَنَعَكَ Now Allah said to him, O Iblis, what has prevented you and تَسْجُدَ لِمَا خَلَقْتُ مِنْ يَدَيَّ that you prostrate before him whom I have created with both of my hands. I have created human being, Adam, with both of my hands. What does it mean? But I think is that this Alamul Khalq and Alamul Amr, both are joined in man. And man is the only creation which has both the worlds in him. Now this is Alam Amr, Alam Khalq. To Alam Amr belongs Malaika, angels. And our spirits. To Alam Khalq belongs our this body, animals aspect of our existence. Now Jinnat are only Alam Khalq. All these animals are only Alam Khalq. All this universe is all, all only Alam Khalq. Alam Abr, only Malaika, but they don't have bodies. They don't have the Alam Khalq. The only creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in which both these, you know, worlds have joined together is bad. I think this is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala means when he says, I have created this man with both of my hands. Astagbarta. Now this question is to Iblis. Are you arrogant? Am kunta minal alin. Or you are, you are want to exalt yourself. Qala ana khairun minhu. He said, I am better than him. Khalaqtani min narin wa khalaqtahu min teen. You created me from fire, you created him out of clay. Qala fakhruj min ha fainna ka rajeem. Allah said, okay, go forth, go out, go away from here. And because now you are accursed. Wa inna alayka la nati ila yawmid deen. And my curse shall remain with you till the day of resurrection. Qala rabbe fanzirni ila yawmid yubasoon. He said, okay, my lord, now give me the spite. Till the day they shall be raised. Qala fainna ka min al-munzareen. Allah said, okay, go. That respite is granted to you. Ilai yawmil waqtil ma'loom. Till the day of the known time. Qala fa ba'izzateka. Now he said, I swear by your honor. La huwiyannahum ajma'een. I will certainly mislead all of them together. Illa ibadaka min humal mukhlaseen. Except those from him whom you have chosen for yourself. Qala fa al-haqqo wa al-haqqa aqool. Allah said, okay. Then the truth is, and I am saying the truth. لَأَمْلَأَنَّ جَهَنَّمَ مِنْكَ وَمِمَّنْ تَبِعَكَ مِنْهُمْ أَجْمَعِينَ I will fill the hell with you and whosoever from the progeny of Adam follows you from all of you I will fill the hell قُلْ لَا أَسَلَكُمْ عَلَيْهِ مِنْ عَجَفِ O Muhammad said to them I am not asking you any reward, any wage مِنْ عَجَفِ وَمَا عَنَا مِنَ الْمُتَكَلِّفِينَ and I am not from among those who are pretenders or imposters, in who I la zikrulil alameen. This Quran is nothing but a reminding, admonition for the words. Wala ta'ala munna nabahu badahin, and certainly you will know the truth, the news that it is giving you, the reality will come to you after some time.